So, my wonderful friends, it is so great to come to you with such a wonderful, blessed, and powerful anointing and teach you how to get the energy and the healing in your life. The anointing is powerful. The anointing is all-encompassing. Whatever is holding you back from doing all the marvelous things you've always wanted to do, all the marvelous things that need to be done for you and your family and for the country, the anointing is ready to give you an overwhelming strength to do those things in a mighty way. You can accomplish what you need to accomplish in a mighty way that doesn't even tire you out. You can run and not be weary. And you can walk and not faint. And you can shout without any fear or doubt that it will not work out for you in your life. You can just begin to shout right now because you know it will work out. And you need this in your life. Your life needs this power. Your life needs this energy. Your life needs this anointing. You need this power. You need to be healed completely. Everybody has some little old something. Now, you know, they can drag them down sometimes every once in a while. You may be in basic health and all, but you can be, things can drag you down a little, just enough to keep you from not being uh, at your perfect edge and, and actually have an edge over your competition, and you, but you can get this anointing that will give you that edge, that will give you that power, and it's even more and more and much more powerful than anything you can take in the way of supplements or vitamins or any other kind of crazy thing that you might decide to do. This will give you that power that you've been looking for. You need to get that because the country needs that and it needs you to be at your peak performance. We need to be at enough of a peak performance that we can exercise honesty, character, and integrity and beat the competition doing it and doing what we do with integrity, honesty, and without having to resort to any kind of deception, underhandedness, or unscrupulousness. You know, an uh, ideal has crept into politics that the only way you can compete is by being more unscrupulous and dishonest than the next person. But that is not to be the case for the people who have this real anointing. You know, that's people that don't have the real anointing. But if you get this power of this real anointing, then you can run for public office and you can win. And everything you do will be above board, full of integrity, full of honesty, full of character. And you will still be able to beat the competition, even despite that, without any other kind of tactic being used. That's the power of the anointing. That's the power of God. That's the power that gets at your back when you pray long enough to get the real anointing. You need to have the real anointing in your life now. Your life doesn't need to go another second without the real anointing. You know, it's, uh, you are way down the line in every kind of uh, competitive idea every kind of competitive action, every kind of energy to do, every kind of energy to be, to be, do, and have. This anointing is the being, doing, having power that God will give you through divine mind. You always, you've heard that being, doing, having power before. It doesn't come <clears throat> from just having more money than the next person does, has regardless of what some people think. But it comes from having a, an anointing that's stronger and more powerful and more in connection with God and spends time with God and receives His power and has that energy behind you and then you will be unstoppable. And so what is the power of the anointing? 
The power of the anointing is life changing. The power of the anointing will heal anything in your body. The power of anointing will cause you to be able to and be motivated to and have the energy to. You won't be saying, oh, I know I need to pray for such and such person. I need to pray for the people across the world. But I just don't have the energy <coughs> to do all that praying. You won't never say that again. Because you'll have so much energy that it'll be more comfortable to pray than not to pray. You know, and you, because you'll receive more energy every time you pray again. Every time you pray for somebody, it'll give you more energy than you had before. And so the power of the anointing is all encompassing, all miracle working, all lifting. It's like a mighty tide rising. It is like the waves uh, under a surfboard, lifting you skyward with no effort on your part as far as the lifting goes. And you just lift it up and you just ride the waves. You just ride the, the waves as they come and they go and they ebb and they flow. And the same thing about all of the different ebbs and flows of the problems in the country, you'll be able to just ride upon the waves of the power of God and deal with all those problems. And we will know the answer to these problems that we have in the country. We will know the answer to how to get a proper immigration policy and one that will make everyone happy. And we will know how to solve the Mideast problems that are with all those countries, with Iran and with with uh, Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict, with the <coughs> problems with our, uh, with uh, North Korea. We will understand all these problems, and we'll understand the right answer, and we'll understand who to talk to, and we'll understand what strings to pull. And so... Uh, let's go with that and continue to pray in that line of thinking.